Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. It's a great day for another huddle, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I am blown away. I am finally on the wrap of this success leave clues. I think I found them all. Oh my gosh, it's incredible to find all of these clues that are available to each and every one of you who are listening in. Are you paying attention? Are you looking for them? Are you writing them down? Are you taking action? That's one of the clues. You got to take action. It's not good enough to listen to this. You got to do something with what you've listened to, with what you've read, from what you've applied into your life and the thoughts that you have. What are you taking action on? Oh my gosh, that's an incredible clue. But wait, there's more. You know, guys, there's millions of clues out there. But I think what you're going to find is when you're looking for something, as they say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So the question is, are you looking? And if you're looking hard enough, and if you're looking diligently enough, and you're working hard enough to figure it out, the principles of success, you know, reading the books and going to the seminars and listening to these audios and going on and on and on is incredibly important. At the same time, what are you listening for? What are you listening for? What do you what are you what are you searching to find out what's that secret well the pieces that i gave you over the last several days i think it was part 5 or five parts to something of success leaves clues i gave you a decent foundation from where to look at right modeling other people why not you know it, it if if you if you know how to bake a loaf of bread and you create a recipe my gosh go out and sell the darn thing license it <laughs> okay set up a franchise go out there and get some residual income right and that's really what the successful people have done they have unconsciously licensed their activities their thoughts their actions their beliefs their rituals their routines their state management how they influence others with with their brand what are you doing about that for yourself and when you're when you're here listening in on this okay what is it that you want to have happen for you what is that clue that's going to take you to the next level hey are you are you using some of them but you're not using all of them well add it in bring it into the recipe for your success because that's what we got to create once you have the recipe simplify it don't over magnify it. Don't over complicate it. Just simply keep it simple. What do you want? What are you good at? What do you want to get better at? And then apply this, these past formulas that I gave you over the last five calls, right? These five recordings and put them into place and set that foundation up for yourself. But wait, as I said, there's just a little bit more, okay? So there's an overreaching thought here that we want to take into account. And an overreaching thought is to button this piece up of success leaves clues. There are just a couple of more. And guys, there's probably, I don't, you know, maybe there is more. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe the people that, I, that I've worked with and earning a quarter million, half a million, million, two million, 20 million, 30 million, 50, 100 million dollars a year. Maybe they don't have all of the answers. I'm not really sure. What do you think? But I, what I do know is that all of these things are in place. What I do know is what I'm going to share with you today in a very simple, straightforward and direct shot at you is this, bow, this button up to this, this, this process here. These clues are these things right here. The first thing okay to take all of this process these five steps that i talked to you about over the next, last few days okay the first thing is get yourself focused you know i've heard and i and i don't i actually i don't think i heard it i just kind of made it up and maybe it's somewhere out there maybe somebody else is using it i have no idea maybe i did read it maybe i did hear it i don't know and frankly i don't care what i do know is does it make sense Okay, so when I make a, when I make a quote or a comment or a statement or something, I'm oftentimes and you know I'm not always perfect. I I have my flaws without question. You know, I'd, 
I don't walk on any kind of water, but I do know that I wish I could, and I'm always striving for that. But I do know this, that when we're not focused, okay, we lose ground. We lose momentum. When we don't stay focused, we lose ground. We lose momentum. We've got to keep starting over and over and over again, getting that train ramped up and spinning those wheels and keep throwing coal into the into the burners to get those get that tons of machinery pulled down those tracks right and focus is key and the challenge the quote that i wanted to share with you my thought on this is too many pastures make for skinny cows too many pastures make for skinny cows if you're always searching and you're always ill-focused, and you're multitasking, and doing a number of different things, you're going to be really skinny, and you're not going to have a fat bank account, and you're going to have an, a, a crazy mindset, and you're going to think that there's something better on the other side. It's greener pastures. No, guys, the pastures are right in front of you. The acres of diamonds is right under your feet. All you got to simply do is look. And how do you look is you got to stay focused in one area for, for crying out loud. You got to hold on to that. You got to give it its shot. Okay. Most of everything that is being done today and somebody is doing it well and somebody is not doing it so well. Well, it's been, it's been done. It's been proven. And we want to get these things done and we lose focus because we're trying to figure out easier, better ways. Yeah, certainly you got to stream and you got to streamline and you got to make sure that, you know, you're doing your very best at it. Are you, are you as effective as you can be? Are you as efficient at something? Absolutely, without question. But to go from one thing to another to another and bouncing like a bouncing ball, oh my gosh, yeah, you should be really thin, thin in your bank account and probably thin in your belly too. I would imagine. So focus with these clues that I'm giving you. Okay. That's another clue to add to your ballywick here. Okay. The next thing, and I mentioned it the other day, as far as state management, how we manage our physiology, right? We talked about that, but this is a very, very important part. And I don't want to skip on it because right now, when you put your focus on something and you stand up straight and you physically imagine and you and you and, and adorn what you want, okay, and you hold on to that with physiology and belief and certainty in your body language, which speaks volumes about how you're going to speak to the world and how you actually speak to yourself is very, very important. So focus, physiology, then strategy, okay, strategy. Strategy is critical. You got to have strategy. You got to have something to implement on. I talked about the other day taking action. Strategy is before you take action. You got to set the strategy. What is it you want? Who's doing it? And then what strategy are you going to put in place to achieve what they've got and also achieve what you want? Okay, it's not about just them achieving it. It's nice to read the books and go to the seminars and see the guys on stage and whoopsie doo, look at them. I can never do that. Well, that's a lousy strategy, wouldn't you agree? Okay, it's hoping that maybe one day you're going to get there. Nope, you can't do it that way. That's hope strategy. You can't have hope marketing and I hope I can, I hope I will. You got to have a strategy with focus, with a determination in your body language that says, yes, I will achieve and I will make it happen with your body language saying that out loud even stronger than those words and the pace and pitches I talked about the other day you got to have a strategy and then you got to put it into action as we talked about the other day this is the foundational piece okay this is the foundational piece but there's two more that one I talked about last week which is beliefs okay this underlies the whole wheelhouse here if you will this is this is the foundation that holds this house up if you will right and i said beliefs the other day you got to believe in yourself you got to believe in what you're doing you got to believe in who you represent your company yourself and whatnot you got to believe you got to believe that it's achievable you really have to fight for that 
because you will get rejected. You will get turned down. People will turn you off. And they will turn you off because they don't like you. They're going to turn you off because you don't like them. And you're going to want, and it's going to shatter your beliefs. But if you're not strong in your own beliefs, internal beliefs about yourself and about what it is that you want, which you know that you can achieve, which I know you can achieve, it's not going to work. So you have to have belief. And then raise your standards. Each and every single day, raise your your standards. So beliefs and standards go hand in hand. If you have low standards and low beliefs, what do you think the result's going to be? Low to nothing. <laughs> okay. Low to nothing. So have standards by which you work, by who you hang with, who are you dealing with, what is it that you want, what is it that you don't want, know what that is and hold yourself to those standards. Standards are acceptable levels of behaviors. And if you have low bars on your standards, you'll do anything just to get by. And that's probably all you'll end up doing. I know it's not easy. Okay. It sounds pretty simple. Raise those standards, get them up there. Okay. But you got to pull those bars up all the time. And when you meet the level that you've, if you raise the standard and you meet that level, then raise the bar again. Another quarter of an inch. Just raise the bar up. Just raise it up. Put it up there. Okay. Because if you did it once, you can raise it and stretch it more. Just go to the Olympics and watch the, the pole vaulters and the, and, the, and the high jumpers, what they do. They raise their standards all the time in order to get to that gold. Okay? Do they always get the gold? No, there's only one person who will get the gold. Maybe somebody matches and, they, and two people win the gold. You know what? It doesn't matter. What matters is, is the strive. It's the attempt on the higher standards that you hold for yourself. Okay, and the people you hang with, the actions that you take, the ideas and concepts that you implement and that you move forward with. Absolutely, absolutely, radically important in your business and in your life. Okay, so guys, this is a wrap to the series on Success Leaves Clues. I hope you got some ideas from this. Well, I don't hope you did. I, I, I'm almost certain you did. The question is, from me to you, is what are you going to do about it? Is this going to be another recording? Oh, Mike, he's just out there trying to pump me up and inspire me. Yeah, you're damn right I am. <laughs> At least I hope it does, right? At the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, you got to do something with what you now have in your hands. This is gold, okay? This is gold. I mean, I'm telling you, it's gold. And working with the best people in the world for many, many years, it's just something that we pulled apart and we said, okay, these are some of the fundamentals of the most successful people and persuaders in the world. And there's other attributes without question. There's the intricacies underneath one of those areas. But when you have these in place, those intricacies will end up showing up and you're going to be able to manage them because now you can take each one of these strategies, these clues that I gave you over the last, this gift, okay? And I'm talking out, not out of ego here. It's just a gift, man, right? If you go out and you take each one of these strategies and you sub-strategize underneath and you apply the same strategies to each and every one of the newer areas that you're growing on and the standards that you're raising and the better, stronger beliefs that you're going to have in yourself in what you're doing, you watch what's going to happen. And it'll happen a lot faster than you think. It'll happen a lot faster than you think. So, guys, go do something with this. Go back to these recordings. Listen to them 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 at times, whatever it takes for it to be reinforced into your mind. And get it out there and put it into action. Do something with it once and for all and you watch the transformation that i can guarantee all right guys so listen i appreciate you today mike at mike husson oh my gosh the emails are coming in with questions galore you can't imagine go to realprofitbuilders.com listen to this recording 
If you're here already, well, good for you. You already listened. Realprofitbuilders.com is the podcast site with all this information. All right. Go do something with what you know. Take action. Give me a call. Reach out. Whatever it takes. In the meantime, go make it a great day today. Make it count. Talk to you later.